Hey guys, Mike Bills, welcome back to another video. I just got home from work and we had this box waiting by the door. So let's open this thing up and see what it is. Judging by the Renogy name, I think some of y'all are gonna know what this is. And also it's quite a large and thin box. So what we have here is Renogy's new Shadow Flux solar panel module. This is a 200 watt solar panel. It uses their new Shadow Flux technology, which essentially lets you shade part of the panel while still retaining a good amount of output versus a normal solar panel. If you shade any part of the solar cells, even a little bit, the output goes pretty much to nothing. I've seen quite a few videos of the solar module and I'm actually real excited that I got my hands on one to actually test and try out. So my goal in this video is we're gonna do some testing. We're gonna get some max power output testing. And I'm gonna show you guys how the performance of the solar panel is with it shaded versus a non shade resistant panel. And then I also wanna set this up and do a full day's sun test to see how many watt hours we'd actually get out of the panel. And this panel does come out of the box ready to use with MC4, so you can connect this to your favorite array or solar charge controller and you're ready to go. And right now you can actually get this solar module on, on Amazon or directly from Renogy and they look like they're going for about $240, although I do know they go on sale quite often so you can sometimes find them at a little bit lower price, but you are going to pay a little over a dollar per watt and that's mainly going to be for the shadow resistant feature that you're going to get with this panel. They do look like the newer style in type cells that we see on newer panels these days, so that's starting to become more popular due to their higher efficiency. They also have a five-year warranty on craftsmanship and a 25-year output warranty. I'm really excited to test this thing out and try it out, so let's get started. Okay, we have our Renogy Shadow Flux panel set up here in the sun. I'm gonna try my best to angle this to where it faces the direct sun as possible. And right now we have a ton of sun, the sky is completely clear. So I'm gonna connect this individual charge controller to this panel. Then we're gonna connect that to a battery and see how much peak power we can get out of the panel. Okay guys, in order to test the effectiveness of the Renogy Shadow Flux technology, we have two 200 watt panels right here. One of them is gonna be the Renogy Shadow Flux panel and the other one is a Bogue RV bifacial panel. These are both rated at 200 watts. Behind me, I have a battery and two separate solar charge controllers connected together. So I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like real quick. So we have two separate MPPT solar charge controllers feeding one battery. The battery is not fully charged, so none of these are gonna start clipping or maxing out or doing any weird stuff. I have the full charge voltage of both controllers set to 14.4, and right now we're at 13.5 respectively. So this thing's not fully charged, not even close. As far as angles, I don't have them exactly at the perfect angle, but it's very close. And as you guys can see, we have kind of ideal conditions for making power. So right now the Bogue RV panel is making 148 watts and our Renogy Shadow Flux is making 145. I do expect this to make a little bit more. This panel is physically larger and it's a bifacial panel. And also neither panel are making closer to the rating mainly because I don't have these angled right. So if I'm sure if you angled these perfectly, you would actually get the closer to the 200 watt rating. Also the panels are hot already and it's kind of later in the year. So the sun is a little bit lower in the sky. So if I did a little bit better job aiming, I do believe we could get closer to the 200 watt out Output. So don't be too discouraged if you don't see exactly 200 watts from your panels, but that's it Both panels are roughly making the same amount of power 147 versus 145 So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna demonstrate the shading of the panels to see how shade resistant the shadow flux is versus our normal panel Okay, I went ahead and shaded each panel with a piece of 2 by 6 and I actually gave more shade to the Shadow Flux panel than I did to the Bogue RV panel. So let's see what the outputs are doing now. So the Shadow Flux are making 103 watts and the Bogue RV were making 53 watts. Okay, now I went ahead and changed the orientation of the shade. So now we shaded a whole bottom row of cells and on the Bogue RV we did a whole top row of cells. Shadow Flux is making 108 watts and the Bogue RV is making 75. All right, next, this is just kind of an extreme test. We went ahead and threw a towel right in the middle of each panel. And the Shadow Flux is making 11 watts. Bogue RV is only making eight watts. So it appears, depending on where the panel is shaded, is gonna depend on how bad the shadowing is gonna affect it. So what I notice is if you only shade a group of cells on the outside, it seems to affect the panel all less than versus if you shade multiple groups. But if I shade it like this while leaving some of the panel completely exposed to sun, you know, some of the actual group modules you can see vertically, and some of them covered on both panels. Our Shadow Flux is now making 122, and the Bogue RV looks like it's making 95 watts. So it really just depends how you shade the panel, but I think overall, the Shadow Flux does seem to be slightly more shade resistant than the Bogue RV. However, the Bogue RV does have a little bit of shade resistance as well that they advertise. When I did test this panel before in a previous video, this panel also did really good. I did go ahead and completely uncover both panels now, and we're literally making the exact same power. So we have 143 watts right here, and 144 on the Bogue RV. Shadow Flux just went to 144. So now we're literally making the same exact amount of power. What I will say is the Renogy is a little bit shorter and just a little bit fatter versus the Bogue RV. Other than that, they're practically the same size. All right, guys, we ran the Shadow Flux panel all day today and we were able to get 912 watt hours, so almost one kilowatt hour. So that's not bad, almost one kilowatt hour. So you could easily multiply how many panels you'd want and you could see how many kilowatt hours you could actually produce. 
that's going to do it for testing this Renogy Shadowflux panel. Let me know what you guys think about the results that we got from our quick little test we did. In the future, I think I'm going to get a few more of these and maybe build a whole array because the performance of the panel was very good. I think if you have a lot of trees around your array and you are having issues with shading, these are a really good option just to keep the output as high as possible because I've seen a few neighbors even in my neighborhood who have trees right where their panels are at and they get a little bit of shading. If you're using a normal panel, it's going to absolutely kill the output, but on these, the shade tolerance really does give it an advantage as far as that goes. Let me know what you guys think about this, and I'll see you on the next video.